decided to take a little jaunt over to New York City this weekend. Well, the flight was free with miles, so why not? It's not exactly Vegas, but I knew I could still um, bet on sports from my hotel room, so I thought that's what I probably would do. I turned my hotel room, which is also free with points, into my own little sports book for the weekend, so it should be fun. When I got to my hotel, which was the Fairfield in um, Times Square, they said I could pick anything I wanted because of my status from the little food market, so I chose this pizza. A little microwavable pizza. Well, it was free, so I was excited about that. I microwaved it right there in the lobby. And I thought, well, a little pizza and some water should give me the energy I need to start my little weekend sports book here at the Fairfield. Well, that free pizza was delicious. It was very New York style. Not really, but okay. Also, I got treated to a free mini concert right there in the lobby. So free entertainment, free food. All very good news. And um, to get myself hyped up, since I didn't have a slot machine, I decided to play Buffalo Chief The Puzzle. I had all the elements I needed for a fantastic weekend. Okay, here we are at the Fairfield Suites. I have this little room, 1602. They said it was upgraded to an executive king or elite king or something. So let's see what that means. Oh, look at this. It's precious. It's precious. Oh, okay, we have light right here. Oh, this is very sweet. Little bathroom. Okay. All very nice. Hey. Got a soap bar here. It's adorable. All right, let's see. <clears throat> okay, this is really sweet. It's more like it. I wonder if this pulls out, not like I would. <laughs> That's nice. Little mini so fat. Oh, okay. Hang my. Okay, just leave my bag there. There, I'm all unpacked. <laughs> Okay, I've got my puzzle here. Buffalo the Chief. I'm gonna play that here. And I get two free waters, so I assume that these are the, the two free waters. And, um, yeah. It's a big TV. And a little mini coffee for the morning. Get some coffee. I'm in New York. I'm gonna have some coffee. Look, they've got a fridge and a microwave. That's great. Fun is that? Okay, now here is okay. Here is the pièce de résistance, as always. I wonder how much this opens up. Oh, a little. This is New York. Look at that. It's very New Yorkian. Oh, yeah, I like those water towers. Hmm. Why is there a greenhouse in the middle of a Marriott? Who knows? Oh, did you hear that? That New York car horn? That's always fun. What's going on out here? Look at that.
beautiful view for tonight. Look at the spire there. What is that? The top of the Empire State Building. Who knows? Oh, look at that water tower. There it is. Wow. Back that up. Back that up. The city of my heart. Well, this room is nice. The bed is nice. I like that they have, uh, you know, a design on this. Usually they don't have anything. But this way, when you close the window, you're still in New York. Well, that's always fun. But then, when you open it up again, which I don't know how to do. Oh, there it is. And you're back. You're also in New York, except it's the real thing. So now that I was finally settled into my room, I was ready to um, finally get on FanDuel on my phone and um, turn this room into its own mini sports book. I made myself a little decaf coffee with the in-room coffee maker and started making some sports bets. In the midst of the Empire State building's spire getting all lit up. It's time to make some money. FanDuel offers different kinds of plays um, from BetMGM, so I was going to try some over-under type um, bets on the games that were going on tonight. So my first bet was on the Yankees game, even though some people call it just Yankee game, which I don't like when they make it um, singular. Well, I was in New York and I wanted to bet on a, New on a New York game. So for this over under bet, I was betting that there would be less than 9.5 points or runs as they're sometimes called in this entire game. It was just a $50 bet. I'm just having fun. I'm in New York. What am I gonna do, right? So I was having some coffee and I was enjoying the game on my phone and um, listening to the sounds of New York out the window. And I could see that by the fifth inning, so far there had only been four runs. So things are looking pretty good. They just can't exceed 9.5. And when the game ended, it showed that it, um, Yankees won 4-2, to two, which means six runs had occurred. And because of that, the $100 I had thrown in for my New York weekend into the account was now $136. The next game I bet on was the... Texas versus Los Angeles game. Well, I had just come from Texas, so it seemed appropriate. It looked like the Angels were actually scoring a lot of points, and so I decided to do an over bet on this one. So I bet $40 that there would be more than 10.5 total runs in the duration of this game. And would you believe it, but I won that one too. Well, the odds were uh, favorable on both of those bets I placed on uh, the 17th, so I love New York. 